Oh, there it is. Just splashed up right on the edge of his bed, but then he backs off once it gets inside the bed. It's like he knows this game before. I'm wondering if this is one of the good fish I've caught over here before. Every spawning season, I see some really good fish around this tree right here, around this lay down tree. I'm wondering if this is one of them. He's just real smart. Been through this before. Come on, fish. Oh, no! Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Moved it kind of a lot there. Oh, yeah. Oh, got him. Nice. Well, it's Tuesday, March 8th, and it's 3.15 in the afternoon. I wasn't really planning on fishing today. As you can tell, I've got my dog here. Took my dog for a walk, and I just made it around this pond so that I could check on the spawning status of these bass. And I found a few decent ones up near the bank that I think I might be able to catch. So that's what I'm gonna try here. Don't have a whole lot of time to get it done. Like I said, it's already 3.15, so. Only got a couple hours of good seeing light down into the water right now. And there's some people down here too that I have to worry about spooking away these fish, but a couple of them looked like they were pretty locked on, so hopefully they'll stay around. And let me catch them real quick. And right over here, just past these people. I'm gonna walk past the fish a little bit and then come back, so hopefully don't spook them. Okay, these fish that I was seeing, yep, there's one of them definitely sitting right on top of where I thought his bed was. Spooks off when I come right up next to it, but definitely a fish sitting on the bed right there. I'm going to go ahead and hook my dog up to this tree right over here real quick, just so she's not moving around. Messing with him. Stay right here, okay, Z? This fish is right over here, really, really shallow, actually. It's going to be really hard to make this pitch because the bank is steep, but he's up on top of this tiny little ledge. All right, I'll try to get around here and pitch to him from this side. See if he'll get back up in the bed after I pitch because he's spooked off right now, but I think he'll get back up in there actually if he sees a bait. Here we go, my bait's right on the edge of his bed right now. He's out there on the outside looking at it. Hmm. Kind of backed up a little bit now, though. Backed up just a few inches, just sitting there looking. Yeah, turning away from it. Oh. Oh. It's because there was another fish out there. An even bigger one, probably the female. Goodness gracious. Bigger fish that he just went and bumped out there a little bit deeper. Come on, fish, get up in there. Golly. Just hanging out on the outside for a long time here. There's another fish right down here, not too far. Xena, don't you bite that, you dumb dumb. Stop it. Ah, stop it. Yep, there's another one right down here. Not quite as good, but. Definitely hanging around a bed. I'll tie her up here for just a second again. Just right next to me. Stay right there. He's still there for right now. He's probably gonna spook when I pitch here. Yep, he's kind of spooking off already, but I'm gonna make a little pitch right here. 
See if he'll come look at my crawdad. Easing back up in there. There he is, right up behind it. He saw it move, he didn't like that. Made a little move towards it for a second, but then he backed off. <laughs> Even standing behind these trees. Figured if I stood behind these trees, there'd be enough of a breakup between me and him. But even standing on these trees, or in between these trees like this, looks like he's looking at me out there. Just right outside the bed, just looking like I'm not coming up in there till you move away. Oh, there he goes chasing another bass again. I'm not sure that's a female he's trying to get over there with him though, because he's chasing that thing hard like he's trying to run it off. Not like he's trying to get it to come over there with him. All right, I'm gonna stand over here and try to pitch at him again, I guess. It's really the only place I can do it. Still just out there just looking from afar. Well, I don't know, he didn't exactly like that. When I pulled my bait out, he looked that direction. He didn't run off. Kind of seemed irritated that that happened. Hmm. I'm thinking that he's spooking off when I'm pitching over there, but maybe he's actually running up my bait a little bit. What it looks like could be happening, because he comes right back. He's right there again already. Oh yeah, he's looking at it pretty good actually right there. Can't see my bait, but I know it's crawling up that ledge right in front of his face. Oh, there it is. Just splashed up right on the edge of his bed, but then he backs off once it gets inside the bed. It's crazy. It's like he knows this game before. I'm wondering if this is one of the good fish I've caught over here before. Every spawning season I see some really good fish around this tree right here, around this lay down tree. And I've caught a few of them. I'm wondering if this is one of them. He's just real smart been through this before yeah, he's backing way off again Let's see what this little guy is up to try to get a pitch over there without spooking him nope. didn't run off came right down next to him just looking at it Went out a little bit, but now he's turned back around. Really hard to see right now, actually. I think he's looking at it, though. Oh, yeah, all over it. Come on, dude. Get it. Oh, yeah. Big hops we didn't like last time, so I'm going to try that again. Oh, oh, no! Dang it! He bit it. I even felt it in my rod. <sighs> but he spit it out, I think, before I could even set the hook. You know what? All right, this dude's mad already. I'm gonna go to the little nub worm now so he can't pick up any part of this without getting hooked, hopefully. This is what I call the nub. If you've watched any of my bed fishing videos before, you've probably seen this come out to play before. This is not anything that's meant to imitate any sort of crawdad or whatever obviously so it's not really something you can catch them right off the bat but if you get them real heated up like this one seems to be right now usually you can throw this in there and get them to eat it without being able to pick up any little part like they can on that crawdad that hook is right there in the back of that bait and it's white so i can see it real easy too like i said we're not trying to imitate anything right now we're just trying to get this fish irritated and to finally commit to the bait completely Swallow the whole thing so I don't miss him again. Yep, he's right up in there right now. Oop, there's my bait. Right in front of his face. Right to the left of my bait, but it's not getting real close to the bank like he was before. That's where I want him to be.
Come on, dude. Get up in there. Yep. Now he's moving up in there. He really doesn't like all that movement. Yep. Fixing to snatch it. Oop. Oop. Got him. <laughs> nice. 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 After all that time, finally got him. A little better fish than I thought, too. He's not that small, actually. He's got a pretty small mouth, but God, a real healthy body. And I don't think he's been caught recently either. It looks like that's just a deformation from when he was younger. Mouth is a little, a little bit short on the hinge there on that side. Kind of weird, but not caught recently. So that's cool. I'm glad I stuck with it and finally, finally landed that fish. It made me work for it, but man, that was really fun. Really, really thick fish too. Golly, he weighs a lot. I wish I had a scale on me just so I could see how long and stocky this fish was because he's pretty darn short but for his length he weighs a bunch really decent fish actually i thought he was much smaller than that when i was working on him like i said i'm glad i stuck with it because that sure was fun thank you for playing buddy go back to protecting that bed daddy come on get through there <laughs> There he goes. There he goes. Wow. Well, that was cool. That fish was really fun and a lot better than I thought he was. So I'm glad I did that. Come on. Come on. Nosed up right on it again. Come on, fish. Oh, no! Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh my gosh. Yep. Finally ran up there and ate it, but... Oh my gosh. Finally ran up there and snatched it and was running away from me too. I don't know why when I set the hook. It just popped right out. Golly. Popped right out of her mouth though. I saw it. Don't think I ever even stuck the fish, but goodness gracious. She finally ran up there and just snatched it like she's supposed to. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh man. Let's see if I can try to get her to do that again before it gets too dark for me to see here. Oh my goodness. That's a good fish too. Can't see real well right now, so fish might have had just the claws actually when it was taken off like that. I'm not sure. All I know is definitely ran up there and grabbed at least part of my bait it was taken off straight away from me whatever whatever it did have in its mouth popped out right when i set the hook i saw that happen golly hopefully this fish is still wanting to hang around hopefully swinging on him didn't scare him at all nope he's still right there for right now oh my gosh can't see my bait, but fish seems to be all over it. Oh, dang it. Just pulled it through the bed too far. Golly. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that white rage menace real quick. Like I said, it's kind of an old one, so it's not super bright white, but I think it's white enough where I can see it a lot better than this little crawdad. Should be able to see it better than that dark natural color crawdad. I like to try to get them with that natural color first just because I feel like I got a better chance at getting bigger, smarter ones to bite with a more natural bait. But if I have to, this is not a bad deal either. Yeah, now he's getting up in there. Okay, there's my bait. Come on, get off that limb. There we go. There's where I can see my bait. Now, let me back up just a little bit here. See if this fish will run up in there again. Come on. He's right outside just looking at it. Right like he was before we went up there and snatched it. Come on, dude. Do it again. Come on, 
some fish. Looking right at it. Ah, backed off a little bit there. Don't know why. Come on, fish. Run up there and get it. Moved it kind of a lot there. Oh, yeah. Oh, got him. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. I just said I moved it kind of a lot, and he, he liked it because he ran up there and ate it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Yes, sir. Wow. Like I said, that is a nice, stocky, fat fish. Thank you. I've been working on that fish for a long, long time. Finally just ran up there and snatched it when I moved it big time. Didn't like that big movement. Ran up there and just snatched that little pearl white rage menace. Like I said, I thought I was going to get it eventually. Finally did. That's a nice one there. Thank you for playing. That was fun. All right. Finally got that fish. Yes, yes, yes. back end got him nice come on oop 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 nipped at it oop got it nice oop. yep nice <laughs> that was awesome <laughs>